Carly. And I know it's been a while. I had a little bit of issues with some of my boxes and some financial things going on. But we're working it out. I've got this one. And the Lit Joy crate that was supposed to be here in August is on its way soon. Hopefully they had some issues with one of their pieces due to the due to the uh, clay shortage caused by the pandemic. Not really sure how on earth that happens, but whatever. They were having some issues, but they have got the item now. So hopefully they'll ship out soon. But for today, we're going to be unboxing the August 2021 Geek Gear Box. This one is definitely, when I get it, it's one of my favorite boxes. This one is a monthly box, and for me in the U.S., since this is a U.K.-based box, I pay right about $55 a month when I do get it. That's why I don't get it every month. It's just a little, little pricey for me at the moment. But without further ado, we'll break on in. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is a t-shirt because there's always a t-shirt. And this time I got a ladies sizing rather than the unisex sizing. Um, unisex is always, you know, a little bit baggy. So I figured I'd give this one a try. And this is what we've got. Make sure we can see it all. No foolish wand waving. Oh, that's cool. So that's what Snape says in the first one. The first, first book or movie on the first day of potions. I'm gonna try to do some of that YouTube magic, see if I can get it. I highly doubt it's actually gonna be any good, but I'll only get better if I try, so. And here we are. It is a little tighter than I tend to like, so I will be going back to the unisex sizing because this is a, 2x ladies and it's just a little too tight for me but it is overall nice it's a very soft thin good summery fabric you know fall you don't want anything too heavy this is a good one for that i love the flower design i just i, I love the shirt in general I, even though it's a little tight i probably will wear it um i might take out the seam and add a little bit just so it's not quite so tight but we'll see if I do I might make a video of that do like a fixing a t-shirt DIY or something I don't know and then on to the next product next thing we've got in here is one of their wand boxes unique wands is the geek gear trademark let's see what wand we've got Usually it comes with a little card, or this one does not have one in the box, but that's okay. Interesting. So, this is the wand. It is very, very nice. And there goes the whole box. Oh well. <laughs> I have carpet in this room, so we're good. But, um... You can tell, definitely tell there's some like inconsistencies in the paint job, but I mean, these are technically, I guess they are technically kind of mass produced, so it is to be expected sometimes. It's not terrible. Um, I actually really like the Geek Gear ones. They're very, you know, heavy. They feel nice. I don't actually play with them much. I wouldn't say they're recommended for that probably. But you could. Um, definitely really nice. It gives me a, a it gives me extreme like a uh, Nikola uh, Nikola Tesla. Yeah, you know, the guy who did the Tesla coils reminds me of Tesla coils. There we go. Okay, and the next item retrieved from the floor is this nice chessboard box. They have had several different chess pieces. Um, I think I've got the black bishop, I think is the one I have. 
and the black pawn from previous boxes. It is very well wrapped in styrofoam. And then this piece was over top of it. It just didn't come out of the box with it. So it was well protected. And coming from the UK, you definitely want to make sure it's well protected. Just because international shipping is not exactly package friendly sometimes. Oh, this is cool. This one's definitely more heavy duty than all their other ones. Oh, I love this. So this is the White King, I do believe. So pretty. It looks like it's actually made out of wood. Maybe? No? Because it doesn't... It doesn't sound like wood, but it's got different things that made me look think it looks like wood. That is so cool though. Definitely excited to add that to my shelves. Next item, get out of the crinklies. We've got a pair of socks. I am always down for some socks. Um, I personally usually prefer the shorter socks, but these ones are okay. I absolutely I have very picky preferences on socks. These ones have, looks like, potion bottles and books and some other stuff. I mean, it's not exactly super easy to tell. But what I do like is that when you stretch it, you're not stuck with a bunch of white lines in between because it's not just printed on, it's actually sewn into the pattern. And I really do like that. I hate the ones that are just printed on, because I have... So, yeah. Anyway, on to the next item. More crinkles. And hidden away in that last crinkle bag was hmm. oh that's cool okay so it is a tote bag a canvas tote bag with it looks like Ollivander's wand shop a fan rendition of that and that is so cool you got all the boxes of wands you've got this clipboard and the stairs that lead upstairs. That is so cool. I actually really like that. That is nice. And it's not like a sticky tacky print on. It's a uh, actually feels like it's meant to be on there. So I really, really like that. That is awesome. And the last item item that we have is wrapped in bubble wrap in the frame. You would think as much as I do this, I'd be able to deal with bubble wrap by now, but obviously I can't. So we've got 200, no, not at all right. 400 and second, 422nd Quidditch World Cup. And it says England, Luxembourg, USA, Bulgaria, India, Portugal, Uganda, Japan, Australia, Peru, Argentina, France, Spain, Ireland, Scotland, and Brazil. I'm going to guess that means those were all the ones that were involved in like the playoffs and leading up to it. I guess it would be called playoffs for Quidditch. I never really thought too hard about that one. Anyway, but that is a really cool print. This one is a Geek Gear licensed exclusive. I feel like I've seen this one before. I don't think I've gotten it in any of my boxes, but I feel like it has been in one of the Geek Gear boxes before. So that one could potentially be a repeat, maybe. Okay. Anyway. So I found the, uh, the little card that they send with the wands. Usually it's in the box, but it doesn't look like it was this time, but that's okay. 
This one is the obelisk wand. 13 and 3 quarters inches, topaz dust core, and maple wood. I guess I could see that, being an obelisk, I could see that. Not quite what I would have thought, but that's okay. Let's see. The social spotlight is official cast a spell. I will link her in the description box as well as all the information for this box as well. Oh, that is cool. So we got a chess tournament entry card that you can cut out. Of course, I probably won't, but that's a really neat little addition. And on the little cheat sheet, it shows what all we've got. The Foolish Wand Waving t-shirt, uh, World Cup print, apothecary themed socks, the obelisk wand, wand store tote bag, wizardry well wizardry relic chess piece and the monthly pin wait a second ah it's under all the scrigglies squiggly worms i found the pin the monthly pin dragon and egg pin we'll pull this out and get, give you a closer look Oh, wow. Okay, so here's the pin. I hope you can see it. If not, I'll put in some splices of it, you know, just still shots. Like, that's got a lot of detail. That is very, very, like, you just look at it from afar, it looks like it's very simple, but then when you actually look at it up close, it's actually really detailed. I think the egg looks a little way too big for the dragon, but that's okay. I mean, this is still really nice. Wow, amazing. Anyway, so that's the last of those items. And then every one of the gear boxes has this little scratch off where you have a chance to win a discount or a free box or a free print. I'm not sure of all the different things you could win. I've never actually won anything with this, so let's see if today's my lucky day. Had to find my penny. It uh, got a little lost. And I got 10% off your next renewal. So not bad. Um, with the 10% discount, I think that would bring mine to like, still be like $50. Um, which is kind of sad, but I mean, 10% 10%, every little bit counts. So, um, given that I did pay $50, you know, including shipping for this box, um, do I think it was worth it? Um, shirt quality and everything? Yes, definitely. I would pay, you know, $25 at Hot Topic for this shirt. Um, granted, I wish I had picked the size I normally get, but that's my own fault. That is not their fault. Um, the chess piece, I can see it isn't licensed, but if it was licensed, I could see this being, you know, as of just a figure, I could see this being, you know, 10 bucks. Um, since it's not, we'll say like eight. The wand, I know they sell their wands for like It's either 15 pounds or $15. I look at both the, the UK site and the US site a lot. So I get, I get a little turned around sometimes with that. So I will correct my, I will put which one it is on the screen at the bottom here. Cause I don't remember for sure. So that's not bad. The tote bag, probably a good seven, $8 item. The socks. I mean, they don't scream Harry Potter, which is fine. I mean, not everybody likes to be blatantly in your face Harry Potter. I get that. 
Um, but still, I mean, these are a very soft sock. Um, not too terribly warm, but like not too terribly thick, so they wouldn't be crazy warm. But they're a good like late fall sock. I'd say, at least around here. I live in Tennessee, so weather around here, I mean, it can be summer one day and then winter the next, and then all of a sudden you have spring again. I have no idea how it happens, it just does. I don't even watch the weather anymore. I just dress the way I want to and I'm prepared for either, you know, any weather, any other direction. So, it's fun. <laughs> But let's see, was that all? Shirt, socks, wand, tote bag. The pin, the pin's the last thing. Honestly, with the quality of this pin, um, I'd say this is probably a good eight to ten dollar pin. Um, I've seen some of the Etsy sellers; they'll sell their pins. Their still pins go for a lot. But this one, I mean, I'm not the best judge of how much pins cost. I I'm just, that's just not my forte. I love pins. I do. I have a whole Harry Potter pin board, but I just don't know how to value them. That's just not something that I, is in my wheelhouse. But which item did you like the best? We had the shirt, the pin, the wand, the socks, the chest piece. the tote bag oh and we had the I don't know how I forgot about it but we had the framed prints so out of those items which one was your favorite um I don't remember if there was a theme or what the hints were for this box at all so um I can't ask you what you think would fit better but what do you guys think about all these items which was your favorite um, is there any other Harry Potter boxes you'd like me to unbox? Any other, you know, boxes in general you would like? Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in that comment box below. And can't wait to talk to you. You have a great day. Bye!